thousands of years, Plaisha have been attacked by so many different nations from around the world. Why is it that sometimes they were successful and sometimes they weren't? This week's parasha speaks about remembering Amalek. And the Apostle tells us in a singular term, Zuchai. We should remember what Amalek did. And the question is, why is it in a singular term? We should all remember what Amalek did. The Apostle should be saying, Zichru. The following answer will tell us exactly when Kaisal was strong and victorious, and on the other hand, when they were weak and they were defeated. The place where Kaisal was defeated was in Rafidim. The root of the word Rafidim is Pirod, disunity, separa. When Kaisal are not together and they're separa and there's no Achdos, this is when they're weak. These are the times when they get defeated. And this is why the Pasuk chooses a singular term of Zuchai. Because what we need to remember is that when we're not by Achdos, when we're by ourselves, we are selfish and there's no unity, this is when we are weak and we get attacked. And these are the moments where Amalek can creep in and attack us. My grandfather illustrated this lesson a few days before he was Niftah. He called in all his children and asked them to bring with them a game of pickup sticks. And he said to them, I want you all to take one thin stick and try and break it. And they all did that and the stick easily broke. Then he said to them, put all the sticks together, now try and break it. And of course, none of them manage. And he said to them, this is the lesson I want to teach you just before I'm going to be an ifta. If you're by yourself, if you're not together, there's no achdos, you can break, you're not very strong. If you all stick together, all the sticks are combined together, then you won't be able to break. You're so much stronger together. So whatever happens, remember to be by achdos and always be with each other. So what we can learn from this week's Sedra is how important it is to have achdos, unity, to be together. And like this, we'll be so much stronger and we'll be able to defeat the nations of the world. We shall all have an amazing Shabbos. What if I told you that you can't change? Your meters, your habits, your dispositions, they're hardwired into you. You can't change. Well, that's exactly what Rabbi Rucham tells us. Change is a miracle. And the only way to change is to merit a miracle. Thank God, the Bureau from Systematizes the Approach. Please watch our status. This changes everything. Merit the miracle of change. Join the hundreds. Slam that link below.